full disclosure, in my life, I have done farts and sometimes, you know, quite smelly ones. Hi, I'm Louis Theroux and I'm going to be answering some of the most burning questions that have been searched about me on the internet. Number one. Is Louis Theroux married to Jennifer Aniston? Easy one, I can answer that right now. No, nor have I ever been married to Jennifer Aniston. I've met Jennifer Aniston quite a few times because she was married to my cousin, Justin Theroux, or Thoreau, as he pronounces it. They are no longer married, I'm sorry to say. Free fact, he took the name Jesus as part of his um, Catholic, what, confirmation when he was a teenager. I think he pronounces it Jesus, which makes it okay. Why is Louis Theroux so popular? That's a nice question, but is it actually? Because if you were Googling it, the fact of me ostensibly being popular is, is a mysterious thing for this person. They, they, it demands an explanation. It's not self-evident that that should be the case. Is Louis Theroux so popular? Would be my first answer to that. I'd answer your question with a question. And as to the why, um, if you have to ask, maybe you'll never understand. I make documentaries on BBC Two, people like them. What height is Louis Theroux? Interestingly phrased, I think I would have said, how tall is Louis Theroux? I am not in fact, you know, an office building, a skyscraper. Normally for humans, we say, how tall are they? We don't say, what height are they? I have an altitude of about six feet two inches unless i'm lying down in which case i'm i don't know half a foot uh oh is louis through dead well i wasn't when i last checked it seems like i can't feel anything but i'm speaking i'm thinking as far as i can tell i'm here i'm present by the time you see this all bets are off it begs the question why would you think that i am dead i often think is Louis Theroux annoyingly ubiquitous would be a more appropriate question. Is Louis Theroux overexposed? Is Louis Theroux too alive? Questions from internet forums, or should I say fora. What would you say is Louis Theroux's personality type? I would say I'm, I'm, I'm a fairly anxious person who, uh, who doesn't always um, enjoy human contact. I know that sounds really weird. I'm slightly surprised I just said it. I've got that sort of man thing that involves um, hiding sometimes, like going into a den or a garage and just arranging nails and screws in jars. I mean, not literally, but that thing of or dissipating nervous energy through, through um, organizational activities. I like to cook. I enjoy music. I enjoy a drink. Some might say too much. I watch movies. I'm a family man. I enjoy being with my three children and my wife. I'm making myself sound like the most boring person alive. Is Louis Theroux a beta, gamma, or omega male? Or maybe he's an alpha? Well, the fact that they put alpha in as a kind of afterthought suggests alpha's not really in contention. Alpha males is a picture of Donald Trump. We can skip that one. Beaters get a bad rap from the media and entertainment industry, but they're not so bad. Friendly, reserved, grounded. Well, that's on brand. That's the name, name of my podcast. Loyal, hardworking, and collaborative. Gamma, free-spirited. I don't think I'm a gamma. I think I'm a little too hemmed in to be a true free spirit. I, I, I feel as though I'm a bit squarer than that. Let's read a little bit more about beta. Likes the approval of others and wants to be liked. Yep, avoid confrontations. Tends to play it safe, gets taken advantage of. It's quite a weird realization that you might be a beta. What about Omicron? That's what I am. I'm an Omicron male. I'm milder, but I get around a lot more. How is Louis Theroux able to visit dangerous gangs and cities for TV without being attacked? It would be quite weird if uh, a gang or a prison inmate or, or a criminal attacked you on camera because there would be evidence of the assault. Uh, I think that speaks for itself. Also, most of the work that I've done in this sort of crime space, I've either been in jails, prisons, or quite often with police. In other words, I've been in settings where part of the process is that I am 
I have a kind of sh a de facto chaperone, right? Prisons and jails, they don't want to attack a journalist. What would be the point? And long may it continue, by the way. I am not especially keen to be attacked by a dangerous gang. So it would make good footage. Questions that have been put out on Twitter. Why does Louis Theroux always look puzzled when appearing in a documentary he's been researching and scripting for months? I'd like to think it's not really puzzles, it's just I'm listening very, very hard. You're absolutely focused on thinking about every dimension of what the person is saying. You're concentrating so hard on what they're saying that your face reeks of interest. You're quivering with attentiveness. And that's what that looks like. Why is Louis Theroux not my dad? As long as that's not one of my sons tweeting that, which would be concerning. That's a nice tweet. I'd love to be your dad. Maybe we can go and spend an afternoon in the park and kick a ball around or toss a frisbee because that's what me being your dad kind of involves. Why is Louis Theroux the only man I can trust? Wow. In which case, can I borrow a million pounds? What does Louis Theroux watch when he can't sleep? I sometimes think that I have a superpower. I can drop off with a moment's notice, any time, any place, anywhere. Uh, as long as I'm tired. I can't sleep if I'm not tired. And you're saying, well, what kind of superpower is that? I say it's a considerable one because if I'm um, at work after lunch uh, and maybe the night before I have to you know, turn in late or I have to get up early that morning. So I have a sleep debt to pay off. I can put my head down. I could, if I was tired, I'd be able to do it here and now. I would just go like this. Why is Louis Theroux's voice so comforting? So very, very comforting. Was it more comforting when I did that? Or maybe that just made it sound creepy. The odd thing is when I've heard um, impressionists do impressions of me, I always think I sound a bit like a Muppet. Kind of like Kermit the Frog. Oh, hello. I'm here to find out about is is that something you do? Okay, is it okay if I just stand here? Surely I don't sound like that. They'll do Boris Johnson or Nigel Farage and they sound eerily accurate and then and then they do me and I'm like, do I sound like that? I think the gold standard for a comforting voice is surely um, David Attenborough. Who talks like this? The intonation goes up and down and more often down. When I'm in the VO booth doing my commentary for programs, it is a job to get the, the phrasing and the inflections right. So I work quite hard on, on, on inflection and intonation. So, so maybe that's a bit comforting. Why does Louis Theroux always look like he's done a silent but deadly fart and he's hoping you didn't notice? It's not the face I would adopt if I, if I, if I dropped um, a King Eggy. Full disclosure, in my life, I have done farts and sometimes, you know, quite smelly ones. But I don't then peer at the person in the room intently as if to say like, and what are you going to do about it? But there we are. The internet is mysterious and it reveals unexpected things about human nature and our curiosity. It's like the internet can tell me like, what's inside people's minds. It's like a free focus group. I'm finding out what people want to know. From now on, I'm going to spend more time thinking about how my programs could be improved by providing some of this information. Maybe a kind of on-screen graphic illustrating how tall I am at any given moment.